It has been six months since D-Day. Two years have passed since Red Thunder. Combat mission has been to Normandy. To Sicily and Italy. To Russia. And the East. But the great question remains unanswered. Are the old combat mission diehards still burning? To explore the world at war. September 1944. The sound of the last shots of the fighting at the Arnhem Bridge are dying away. In Russia, Operation Bagration has run its course. The generals at Battlefront headquarters are proud and excited by their apparent success. We were extremely pleased with the reaction to our earlier efforts. We found the positive reviews be dazzling. It would have been tempting to rest on their laurels. But of course, the war was far from complete. Reaction in the community to the second generation games was mixed. Positive comments persisted. A welcome holdover from the initial release of June 2000. Some were only lukewarm and some were incoherently hostile. The greatest thing about the combat mission community is the interesting people in it. Despite the generally favorable reaction of the fans, there was reason for trepidation. Imagine a battle of Sicily with no airborne attack. Imagine a battle of Normandy without beach landings, or a Russian front without Stalingrad, Kursk or Berlin. G'day, mate. We were not concerned about those types of comments. We presented perfectly playable scenarios and if the community didn't like it, the parasites were free to go design their own damn game. I received a number of complaints that content was missing. They had paid all this money, and there were no aircraft carriers, no mine dogs and no health packs. It was clear to us that the next release had to better capture the feel of the era it was portraying, in order to be more complete. To suitably follow the battles of the summer of 1944 in Normandy, Italy and Russia, the new game would portray four geographic regions. Adens, France, Holland and Germany. Continued success for combat mission were dressed in the hands of the map and scenario designers. Map artists created 414 quick battle maps for creating quick scenarios on the fly and 12 master maps for use in scenario creation. However, the centerpiece of the playable content would be the 4 campaigns and 25 scenarios.
Does it compare to the original? Well, what could? BFC was leagues ahead of everything else at the time. Once you've succeeded, expectation is so elevated you can't possibly live up to it. Heedless of expectation, the designers took the scenic route through the Adams, Lanzareth Ridge, Poto, Vilks, Chinook, Barak de Frishu, Shomont, and the Den. And so, as the combat mission diehards fight their way through the Aden forest, only one question remains. For the creators, for the fans, and fanboys. For the haters. The great question that has propelled combat mission along since the original after action report in 1998. Where will we go next?